Hey guys, hope you're having a great day as well as a great life. As well as a great life. Now people, we've hit a hellacious amount of good music on the channel. Great word. Thank you very much. We get asked a bunch, do you listen to it outside of the channel or is it just for the channel? Now we do. However, we don't listen to all the music equally. There are some, a select few, that are in constant rotation. Songs that you, one might say we cannot get enough of. This is a short list of that. We were driving to the studio and we were like, damn, dude, playing some of these songs. And we were like, you know what? Let's give the people what they want. So this is a quick list of some of the music that is just in recent history. Andy and I literally cannot get enough of. Starting off, we got Rush, 2112. Now, we hit this a long time ago on the channel, enjoyed it thoroughly, and it's came in waves. And especially most recently, I've been listening to it at work a bunch, a bunch. And it's just... The emotions that it brings me is insane. It's everything I love about Rush and, you know, encapsulated in a single song, and it's just absolutely wonderful. Plus, I feel like as far as, like, a work song, like, that's one of the songs that will get you through a work day almost like you teleported. Going to Astral Realms Beyond the Nighter, whatever. Yeah, it's 20-something 20, 20 minutes long. Do you know how long it is? It's, like, 20 minutes and 20 minutes. seconds, I think. So it's, like, you got a few plays of that. You're already at your lunch break. You're ready to settle down. So it is like one of my favorite songs by Rush in general. I do think it captures like all the greatness that they have. And it's such a cool, like all the different mood changes. It feels like you're listening to like, honestly, a movie, like a little bit, almost like condenses like Lord of the Rings into oh, bite sized yeah. chunk. You're like, I'm feeling all the things a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Great so guitar, Rick, great everything. Drums, vocals, bass, synth, songwriting, just cool imagery and, and like messaging in general. So yeah, Rush 2112. Fantastic. The next one, close to my heart, Al Green, Love and Happiness. Now, a few of you might go, oh, we haven't seen that reaction. So Al Green blocks, so we've hit him on Patreon. If you want to check out that reaction, it's on there. Go check it out. That is one song that I think over the past year I might have listened to the most. I've listened to it so many times. Like I could, I vividly, I have a memory of myself in a Starbucks parking lot. <laughs> specifically because Al Green came on randomly and I was like, oh, what a cherishable moment. Like, what a beautiful existence to be a part mm -hmm. of that I just get to hear this randomly. And it was after we listened to it and I just like had my playlist on shuffle and I remember sitting there and almost being late to a dentist appointment. Three o'clock in the morning. It's so good. Yeah. It's, I also had a friend recently who was like, because I play this now for all of my <clears> friends, like anybody who's in the car with me for any distance over seven minutes gets to hear Al Green. And, uh, As dude, I should, their family should be paying me. A little, <laughs> like, bit, dude, little bit, dude. I'm trying to put everybody on. I'm, like, evangelizing for Al Green. As you should. So, they were like, uh, they were like, oh, what's that one song that goes, <laughs> I had to sit for several minutes, but I got it. First try. Al Green, Love and Happiness. So, one of my favorite comments from the channel is somebody said that, uh, somebody said that this is, used to be their pool song and that they would go to pool tournaments and everybody would put the first break as soon as like the drums and everything came mm -hmm. in and i don't know why that resonates so deeply with my soul but it does and as far as just a song like all this emotion packed into it like such a charismatic vocal delivery the cool like just killer guitar it's just one of those songs that i think gives all the right funk all the right r&b soul emotions that i just love in this like nice tight package don't know if I should be saying that on the internet. Nice tight package. Somebody clip that out. Next, we got our boys, one of our favorite songwriting duos ever that we've discovered through this channel exclusively pretty much, and that is Hall Notes. We got Sarah Smile. I mean, if this isn't love making music, I don't know what is. I am surprised I haven't had more pregnancy scares. It's really good. It's really good and it's funny cuz like the first few times like it took me a minute to like start listening to it again and it would pop up randomly and every time it did I would go Gosh, why do I love? Oh, Sarah Smile. Like as soon as the chorus popped in. And so once I like recognized and made it an allegiance to myself, like, hey, this is one of your favorite songs. Again, all it's the It's just time actually so good. It's so good. And they have a bunch of other ones. Like we sat here for a second, deliberated between some Hall Notes songs, but I, we think that's the one that like just resonates. Like in terms of the vibe of songs we cannot get enough of, I think that falls really just very much under it. Well, because I think we also like recently, Andy and I did a little like beach day with some friends mm -hmm. and we're driving to the beach. Cars packed, got some coolers, you got some beers, you got some sunglasses, classic beach day, right? And we're looking through the playlist and I'm picking some songs. I go, oh, Hall & Oates, let's do this. Go on, I see like three potentials, right? Mm -hmm. You make my dreams come true, Rich Girl, Sarah Smile. Like Man Eater's in there, but it's not really a beach song, right? Mm -hmm. But those three songs, I'm like, oof, fantastic beach songs. And that was the one I picked. And I think everyone in the car was like, yep, that's the one. Exactly. 
There's just something about it. I mean, definitely just has that perfect light hardness that you want for a beach day. And just for most vibes in general, if you're driving, like it's Sunday like afternoon, you're with somebody, it, it's just a lovely vibe and it works all the time. I think also like that one, as far as like vocal harmonies, mm -hmm. because it just feels so smooth. Like I think that's been a kind of consistent theme in some of these songs is like, it's so easy to listen to. They're doing all the work for you. It's so catchy, but it's also not like the most cliche thing in the world like it's mm -hmm. it's doing its own thing and i can't think of too many other songs that like fill the same role as sarah smile charisma is just crazy yeah it's just wonderful so yeah number three sarah smile and the number two i mean you guys already know we had to include some steely dan in this list which one might you ask it's the shower song peg dude any had OG, to be peg any og fan has got to be like shower song peg <laughs> absolutely we should have a little like a uh, little trivia night i mean at this point like i even think about the song Peg and I just think Bubbles, dude. Because for at least a year straight, every morning I would take a cool shower and listen to Peg and it, it jump-started my morning in a way that I cannot even describe. It really was like an epiphany. I think that's the one you came up with as far as shower songs are concerned. Yeah. And I've since told, anytime I've been drunk at a bar and somebody's been like, you like rock, you like rock and roll? And I go, I, <laughs> dude, I love rock and roll. Like, this is your favorite song. And I go, oh, I don't know about my favorite song. My favorite song to listen to in the shower, Peg. Best shower song of all time. Hands down, there is not a better shower song. It just song. is, though. It, it just really is. is. It has not faltered once. I got a speaker specifically to listen to in the shower because I was like, I can't like put my phone in a way that I can hear the speaker without it just like, it's too precarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, so my downstairs neighbors hate me, but... Yep. <laughs> fair. And that was the first uh, Steely Dan song we ever hit on the channel, and it just, it's staying power is unprecedented. Yeah. And it's definitely a song that we cannot get enough of. I think the fact that, like, it just fits the role of a shower song too perfectly. Mm -hmm. Like, there is just not a better, like, it's like if there was a song that was the best song to make ham sandwiches to. That'd be a weird thing. Yeah. But I'd listen to that all the time if I'm making a ham sandwich. And I shower a lot more than I make ham sandwiches. <laughs> it's staying power. So staying power is there. Unprecedented. I literally can't wait to have kids so that I could be like, all right, we're going to do bath time. Peg. And they're like, ah, fuck, I love bath time. It's true. It's true. You get them on when they're young, too. And it's just Dude, like, they're just going to be like, whoa, they're going to go to like, Everyone does this, right? Yeah. Dude, this, I, this is like, it's just what you do. When can't you wait bath. for them to be in like high school and they go to like uh, take showers with the football team and they're like, all right, but we can't shower without the shower song. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Number two, yeah. had to be had to be Peg. Had to be Peg. And finally, rounding out the list at number one, probably the song that we listen to the most frequently, at least in recent history, <sighs> Stevie Wonder, I Wish. I mean... I don't know what there is to say about this. It's just one of the best songs fucking ever. It's really good. It's a great karaoke song. It's great in the car. It's great just casual listening. Anytime it comes on, I'm happy. Yeah, it's got like that like nostalgic flair to yeah. it and just that grit. All of it. We heard this specifically like right before Thanksgiving, I think, mm -hmm. because I remember going to Thanksgiving and I don't, it was like a 30 minute drive and I don't think I turned it off. Like I literally had it repeat the entire drive because it was like, what are they doing in this? How did they make this music? Yep. It's, it's freaking amazing. And the outro is also just absolutely incredible. The most ear candy ever, like the bass going like all, all, all over the place. Yeah. I mean, it's Stevie Wonder awesome. in general is just incredible. And I think this is one that like captures so much energy and it's just like some of the most unique playing melodic use. Like it doesn't get too wild and in the weeds like some of his other ones do. Like I really love as like that's another one of my favorites. Mm, love it. But I think this is just one that's more casual for like day to day listening to. Mm -hmm. I wish is just so good. It's also just playful. It's like bringing back youth and it's also such a good mess like message in general. And so I think anytime you're having like a day where you want an uplift, it's always there. It's always it's available. Yeah. No need for Prozac. I wish. Like, you're just good. Stevie Wonder will do it. It really will. Yeah, it's like, are there better Stevie songs? Maybe. But, like, which one just has that ear candy, like, factor, like, where you just can't get enough of it? Definitely, I wish, it just absolutely embodies that. It was one of the songs that I remember listening to and, like, going, we need to hit more Stevie. Yeah. Like, every song from Stevie we've loved. Yep, that I think that actually was the one that, like, cemented Stevie. Because like, it was just, at that point, it's, like, absolutely us. undeniable. Every song, like, anytime somebody suggests a Stevie Wonder song, we at least have to think about hitting it. Mm -hmm. Like every time we've been on live streams, somebody's been like, "Ooh, here's this little low key Stevie Wonder song. Probably should hit it." Yeah, like yeah, I think Stevie's absolutely. been like a reoccurring guest on almost every live stream that wasn't an '80s live stream. Yeah, so, absolutely. I just yeah. love that the song just like centers, brings you back to gratitude. It's just the dopest thing. Just dope. And, like the way in which he does it. 
Glory yeah. song. So those are the five that we've been listening to recently. Uh, what songs have you guys been listening to recently? If we missed any, let us know. We'll do more of these as the song list changes. And uh, with that being said, see you next video. Peace. I can't believe I did finger guns. Why am I doing finger guns? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to, if you had a good time watching that video, if you want to upvote the video, subscribe if you're not already. Check out some other videos here on the YouTube or on the Patreon if you want extra juicy stuff. You can't get on YouTube.